The Scottish group, the Fratellis, are back in a big way with their sixth album. John Fratelli joins me right now to talk a little bit about their musical journey. Why you guys have done an amazing body of work in the last several years. John, nice to have you with us. Hey, it's nice to be here. Thank you. So I love the name of, of your new uh, your new album that's going to be released on April 9th, Half Drunk Under a Full Moon. Okay, who came up with that? <laughs> uh, I would love to know. Um, you know, that it, that's one of those phrases that, that I'll write down in a notebook, you know, and then... You know, a year down the line, you know that you're going to use it. You, you right. don't know what, you know, is it going to be a line? It could be a, a line in the middle of a verse. It could be, you know, it doesn't always end up being a song title and then album title. Uh, you know, I have no idea where that came from. I, there's, Pops I, into I, your head, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I, I don't think I, I, I made that one up. I think I've read <laughs> that somewhere. Um, so well, I've got to say yeah, that one of, the, one, of the thing, one of the things that I love about your sound and your music is that it's, <laughs> It's very relatable. Some of it's very sing-alongable. Tell me about how you create a, a, a theme and a, and, a, and a vision sound that you want from your from your albums. In the first instance, it's about keeping myself amused, um, and then after that, you know, really one one album is a reaction to the one that came before. Yeah. Uh, you know that you, you're always either trying to play off of the one that came before because maybe that you had some threads on on your previous record that you, ha you haven't quite fully explored yeah. um or it can be that you know you liked your previous album but you don't want to do anything like that again yeah so i think i think that's that's kind of the constant uh, creative uh quandary that, that that people like you musicians and other creators have and that Costello Music, Double Platinum, big success. You had some great songs on that album. And, and, uh, and, and so how can we follow that up with something? And it's a challenge to, to, to create something new, something dynamic that your fans will want, but that new people who come to your music will also appreciate, right? Yeah, but you know, it, it's, not so, it's not as big a problem as, as I think it's made out to be. The problem is when one third of yourself is acting like an accountant, you know. <laughs> um, that's the problem. Yeah. Um, if you if you're able to to not let that you know that accountant part of you um, mm -hmm. have any say in the matter, yeah. you will just make the music that, that interests you on that particular day. So um, yeah. Tell me about the the dynamic between you and your brothers uh, Barry Mintz, and then there's Will Foster as well. But tell me about the dynamic of the brotherhood. And I guess the first thing that comes to mind is we we really, in lots of ways, couldn't be more different, and yet at the same time. We also are very close, you know? Yeah. And it's the kind of relationship where, you know, we can go months without talking, you know? And, and you know, think, I'm thinking of last year. You know, we really, we really set a record last year for, 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 for nobody really contacting anybody. And, and we can then just pick up instantly uh, where we left off as if we had just had coffee that morning and we were meeting up for drinks at night. It's you know, the beauty of family. It's the beauty of family, you know? That's, you, that's, that's really the, And friends are like that too. Your, friend, your closest friends, you pick up right where you left off last time. And it shouldn't be any effort, you know? Yeah, yeah. What, what are we going to hear that's different in the new album? That is never for me to say, you know? Because it... it it feels unnatural for me to to kind of prime people for for what it is that they you know for the listening experience, right? Because you know the the that's theirs and theirs alone, you know. Especially if you're if you're a, a real fan of a band, you know, like every time uh, Dylan brought a new album out from like '97 onwards. Um, because, like, at that, I mean, I was like 18 at that time, and I had discovered them two years before. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was 16 when I, I discovered them. Time Out of Mind came out in 97 or like 96, 97. So th th that, that was the first time I was, I was actually going out to buy a new Dylan record. And I did that 
with every record from then until until now, until last summer. Well, that's what, that's we, what the true fans are doing in your music. They're they're exactly. just moving transition from album to album, and now album number six, uh, you know, half drunk under a full moon, is sure to be a huge success. I wanted to ask you just one final question about Scotland and coming from Glasgow. There's I have some friends in in Los Angeles, name, namely uh, Ross King, who's part of the what I call the Scottish Mafia. You know, Jerry Butler, Craig Ferguson, Ross King. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you integrating with them? Um, I mean, I, I find it hard enough to integrate with anybody. <laughs> um, but Jerry Butler, the, the the first he might not remember this. But the first time I met him was backstage. Um, I think it was uh, in the green room of the Conan O'Brien show in New uh -huh. York. And uh, we were on there playing. And I think uh, I only realized this after the fact that this was when 300 had just been released and he was on promoting right. 300. So this yeah. was his big break. This is a and, big deal, you know, yeah. But we were all in the green room together. And, you know, it, so I, mean, I was sitting beside him having a chat. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm not listening to this sort of quite handsome Scottish guy and but I, I assumed that he was a friend of our managers. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. So there was some point in the show when I turned down and said to him, so what what do you do for a living? You know? He said, Oh I'm an actor. I said, Oh well what have you been in? And he said, Well, I'm here to promote this movie and I thought, Well I wish somebody had have told me. Um <laughs> he might he might he might remember that. Well, that's fantastic. What a great story. John Fratelli, thank you so much for being with us. The album's called Half Drunk Under a Full Moon. It comes out April 9th. Thanks so much for being with us. I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.